Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Very happy to have the gentleman who put together the art of the prank in studio. And uh, of course, we start with uh, Joey Skaggs. Welcome. Joe. Director. Hey. Welcome to nice the show, to both of you. It's great Thank to have you guys here. Talk to me about the film, first of all. Let's, let's mm. start there. So basically, the film is about this man here. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been lucky enough to meet this guy three years ago, actually 2012. And you know, I decided to do a film about him. And it's about, can I say, the, probably the greatest media prankster of all times. Indeed. I can't stand this. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say it. You know, it's true. I'm going to mispronounce your name. So Andrea. Andrea. You can pronounce but, it. But your last name. Marini. Marini. Yeah. There we go. I was a little afraid of trying that out <laughs> on, the, on air this morning at uh, such an early hour. But talk to me about what intrigued you about Joey Skaggs in the first place to get you to. Well, how go can't you this? be intrigued by him? So <laughs> when I <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I met him, actually, I I was introduced by him uh, to him by a producer a friend of mine uh, when I was in Italy, and he showed me the, this 2020 piece about Joey and. The, right after the moment I watched it, I was blown away completely. So I decided, okay, we got to do something with, with this guy here. And we started out, out of the prank. Excellent. Talk to me about why you prank in the first place. I guess that's what I'm kind of curious about. Okay. Simply, I'm an artist. I use the media as a medium. I create plausible but non-existent fake realities. I stage them with actors. I use props, locations, public relations, and advertising techniques. Wow. And I fool the media with uh, a juicy bite of something. And uh, I watch what they do with it. My work is done in three stages. The first is the hook, coming up with a concept, initiating it. What do I have to do? What's the budget? How many people involved? What kind of costumes do I need? How am I doing it? What's right. the subject matter? Then there's the line, when I put it out, when I do it, what happens? what media falls for it, where does it go, how does it get changed, how do they misinterpret it, how do they twist and torque the intent content, meaning of the message to suit their own agenda, what happens, and mm. I record all of that. Thirdly, I do the expose, the sinker, and that's when I reveal the truth, then watch how the media deals with it. You know, do they attack me, dismiss me, trivialize me, or do they examine their inadequacies <coughs> and their mistakes. Not likely. Not likely. <laughs> <laughs> so that co those three stages constitutes my work. And I've been doing it since the 60s. I started off as, a, as an angry young artist. Yeah. Uh, there were many issues that bothered me. And as a fine artist, I couldn't uh, express my outrage through a painting or a sculpture. Though artists do do that, right. I wanted more immediacy in my work. I wanted to reach the public. Art is about communicating, so the biggest medium of communicating is the media. You know, uh, a, a, a madman creates for himself, a poet for a loved right. one, the artist for the world. So the media sort of uh, puts themselves in a position to be easily pranked by you. Is that, would that be the correct well, statement? Well, there's a lot of competition that, to make the news. There are a lot yeah. of people that I'm you know, also in competition with. And so you have to be creative and, 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 and give them something that's sensational, uh, outrageous, something that they'll want to believe in, something that they probably already believe in, an element of plausibility, Did like the Fat Squad, where I had commandos willing to physically restrain uh, people for $300 a day, beat the fat. crap out of them, you know, uh, the cockroach vitamin pill cure-all, uh, an extracted hormone from super roaches that <laughs> cures arthritis, acne, and anemia, and menstrual cramps. You know, ridiculous things. So people want to take, you know, a, a, a pill, get fat, I mean, lose fat, you know, grow hair, right. get sexy, you know. So everyone wants a simple solution. So I, I provide the media with satirical, simple solutions or outrageous constructs, wow. and they buy it. Well, I believe we have a clip from the film. <coughs> yeah. We can back up uh, and ask you a couple of questions about it and uh, how you've managed to restrain yourself a little bit here. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Uh, so let's take a look at it. It's the art of the prank. All right, Andre, I have to ask you a question here. Yeah. When, you, when you get a guy like this with you, 
at uh, a place like this. How do you restrain yourself from doing one of these pranks right here? <clears throat> he puts rubber bands around his testicles. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it takes, right? Yeah, worse than him. <laughs> Actually, he takes the, the worst out of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much fun was it doing this? Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah. And it was really a learning process, not only as a filmmaker, as a person, you know, you learn a lot in storytelling when you experience these kind of stories. You should be really uh, pretty masterful at marketing your film at this point, wouldn't you say? Well, we are, uh, <laughs> now it's me and uh, Judy Droz, who's the producer with me on the film, and yeah, we're working on that well, pretty a lot. You get the guy to help you make it all happen. <laughs> I, I'm sure there's some way to, to we, We're to getting a great that. response. Yeah, we have a great team. Great response. Yeah. Small, I have to strong. ask you one quick question, and, and I don't want to simplify what you do because yeah. this it might sound like I'm doing that, but uh, it seems like maybe, uh, and I hope it's not just journalist in me, but I, I fall for clickbait all the time. Do you feel like, I, I, I'm thinking those people are just following your, your, you know, your footsteps a little bit in a, in a smaller, much it's, more. It's nice to think that my work for the last <laughs> 50 years has inspired some people, so. Uh, it yeah. clearly <laughs> has, in, in many, many different Thank ways. You. But uh, certainly it hasn't done much for us in the media getting a little smarter about it, because he, he pranked me outside, and I knew better, <coughs> and I still fell for it. So I want to thank you guys both for being here. When can we see the film? Uh, November, uh, sorry. <laughs> November. Well, we can do that. <laughs> January Sunday, 24th this Sunday. And 27th. Okay. It's 8. 30, something like that. Okay, over at uh, yeah, Treasure it's Mountain. Yeah, the night. Yeah, yeah. Treasure Mountain. All right, well, yeah. we're we'll looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, I'll definitely yeah, I be there. I have a present for you when you Okay, coming. I can hardly wait. Yeah. Probably a prank. <laughs> oh, the, the great watch. I'm looking forward to this very much. Well, there's a lot more coming up here on the Mountain Morning Show. Maybe I'll tell you about the watch, but we'll certainly have some music. That happens after these messages.